when the history of the Axis Revenge is written, particularly regarding the terrible time of the more recent pandemic, which struck at the heart of America's normal. It will be said very clearly that the Axis succeeded beyond their greatest dreams because America's liberal establishment, its left wing, its colleges, its administrators, its mayors, and its governors and its people, all allowed the attackers to masquerade as the leaders of their victims. It was a very simple formula. So simple, in fact, that it was juvenile. And none of the participants who allowed it to happen could ever bring themselves to face that rather than being juvenile, they should be taking action to protect us by law. They refused. Each and every single player, the victims, the artists, the musicians, the parents, the teachers, and the students, preferred to be enduringly slavish and juvenile to the attackers than doing anything imaginable that could be considered constructive, honest, truthful, or protective of the victims. They set out to be as evil and shiftless as possible. And believe it or not, the reason was very simply a ball rog who made their eyeballs dance, who turned them into sabines panting to be taken. And he even had a conspicuous name, Casper. For that, they derided that I had been tortured. For that, they sided with Attila the Hun. And you can hear the mocking, the sneering, the hatred for America that came tearing out of Yoko Ono through the Beatles' White Album, which was published on the anniversary of JFK's assassination. But it wasn't mourning on that record. It was mockery. Every single allusion to the murders of King and Kennedy, which were used to promote the Beatles, was sly, brazen mockery, appealing to the inner sanctum of man's pleasure principle. Attila the Hun came for the Sabine women. And as the deaths mounted, as the military aggressions got worse and worse, I mean never in the history of the West have so many, so many pushed their grannies into the pit of death. Even as it got that bad, the murder of our grannies in mass, a geriatricide, they sniveled that they were military sociologists, that science was theirs, that they were going to issue in a new world for who? For Trumpy Tun and the Axis. You think they care? The only science in this was the science of deception the science of face laws. They postponed action on the environment for decades because they knew they had molecules up their sleeve that they could use to deal with the real problem, which was just simply ordinary people. Most ordinary people go to school expecting to be learned how to live compatibly with the earth. Did they train climate teachers? Did they train botany teachers? Did they train ecologists? 
absolutely no way. They refused to do so. They were too busy lacing up Israeli jackboots and providing Israeli soldiers with personal care missile launchers. Against what and who? Completely poor, impoverished people who just want to build their own schools on the West Bank. The Israelis attacked me in Pittsburgh in the most cunning, brutal way you can imagine. They implanted a nerve agent and held me hostage for sexual purposes in coma. And yet, the NAACP made a preposterous mockery of me while I was in trauma, forcing me to live with two worlds like the Truman Show, the world I hoped I was seeing, where people I had appealed to were coming to help me, and the real world, which was the one they were whipping up with spy cam videos over my bedroom, with hostile, libelous overdubs, putting me places I had never been, doing things I had never done, as a joke, as a lifelong sadistic project. Nothing anywhere in the American Psychiatric Association or the Bar Associations says that it should be allowed, that implanted neurological trauma from nerve agent on the facial nerve for revenge purposes from the Axis over Hiroshima against a child who was born guilty because white should be classified as genetic schizophrenia. And yet that's what they did. They had no shame. Seattle Central Community College banned me. They confiscated my art at the sound agency after poisoning me in the mouth. And they continue to dog my footsteps, demanding the right to get me to give them the sanction of the victim or force me to die for telling the truth, which not one of them is capable of. Not after every single outrage, they used me for a Holocaust simulation experiment. We're laughing that about top shelf where I was hiding, in the top shelf of the closet. They gassed me in a place called King's Estate, which is like heavenly estate. And then they lured me to Mount Desert Island for an AIDS testing war game, which was really two virgins pussy ball, a conspiracy between Boris Obama and Midori Goto starring the master of ceremonies as priest, the hustler, Joe Biden. And of course, behind it all was the money and influence of Trumpy Toon. Did they stop there? No. They lured me to a military sociology school where they deigned to teach me some botany, where they deigned to teach me some climate science when they announced from Attenborough Studios Greta Thunberg for the Greta good of the world and released this new horrible project of theirs. And not one single so-called spider from Mars, which is the symbol these moral ninnies use for their murder, their poaching of Circe Kennedy in the name of their doll psychology of logotherapy, John Bennett Licky Chops operation, in that they used to justify their incredible sadism towards little Jim McQueebate, as they called me. 